Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn flower making. Let me show you what all flowers we will be learning. First we will learn organza flowers and this type. And then we will try with second flower. This is organza ribbon and <coughs> this is the second type. These are the flowers made with organza ribbons. Same method we will be using for these flowers. These are also ribbon flowers but the ribbons you can see it is the normal ribbons which the kids use for their school. So the pattern is same. I will just tell you the little difference in this and that. So <clears throat> let's start up. Let me tell you the materials required. The materials required for flower making is wire. Wires you will get in, you will get like this. It's in a full bunch, full pack of wires. You just have to take out one wire and start with single piece first. Don't take out remove all the thing all the wires separately don't make it separate separate because uh, if you uh, <coughs> uh, remove it from the bunch it is going to get entangled and then you will be facing difficulty in making the projects every time you do it so this is the wire then we have organza ribbons these are the organza ribbons this is brown color this is what I have bought it from the market you can get it from the market very easily um, uh, from any of the craft shop or maybe you can just try it in a uh, stationery shop uh, you'll have to go to the market where you find all the ribbons and the laces and all there you just ask for the organza ribbons these are the imported organza ribbons so I just got it for <coughs> I got the full pack these are the varieties I have it was packed like this so many colors and <coughs> then you need needle and thread so we will be keeping the threads I have kept three colors though the third color was uh, it was not used only and uh, uh, these two were enough I have kept these colors as per my ribbons uh, green I don't need uh, I have uh, purple I have brown and then I have pink I've made pink also so I have, I took out three colors so you take out three colors threads and then you need white net there is a, a kind of a net you get in the market uh, you can get it in uh, a place where you will get all the craft uh, stuff this is used by the florist also for packing the bouquet so I have used this this material if you don't get this just go for the simple uh, plain net without the dots then you need pollens pollens also you will get it in the craft shop these are the pollens you get in variety of colors <coughs> I have used red I have used uh, uh, yellow and these are some golden also So then next we need is white beads. White beads we will be needing for the for the center part of the of the flower. Any color beads will be fine. You can just use simple white beads. I just got I just got some strings from here and I have just taken out few. These are the pollens. Then you need uh, beads covering. Beads covering you will get it from a jewelry shop. Uh, uh, this is optional. If you don't want this, if you don't want these, it's okay. You can always uh, skip this. And without this covering, it's like this. Without the covering, you can always make the flowers there's no problem with that I have made a flower without the covering see it will look like this this is without the covering and even without the the net net cloth so you can 
make without that also even this is without the covering and without the net cloth so few flowers i had already made previously so uh, there are samples for that also then you need a pair of scissors then you need green tape the screen tape also you will get in a craft shop from where you will buy all your material for making flowers i think you will get all the stuff there even the beads and the ribbons and different types of ribbons everything you will get it there so don't uh, go here and there just straight away go to the craft shop then we need green satin ribbon this is green satin ribbon and i have taken 2 inch 2 inch is quite sufficient more than this is not required and another option is you can always skip this ribbon part and just add the ready made this this ribbon we are going to use it for um what do you call that uh, leaves for the leaves for the leaf making and if you don't want to buy this you can straight away buy the ready made leaves available in the market and add it to the flowers then we need <coughs> candles if you are skipping the green ribbon the green satin ribbon for the leaves then this is not required otherwise this is needed a uh, little bit sometimes it is needed for the flowers also then we need a tweezer or tweezer is plucker or if you don't have a plucker if you are uh, into jewelry making then you can use this also okay so let's get started okay first thing you have to do is just take the wire as the wire is going to be quite long so just put it into half so that you get for two flowers okay this from the center give a cut with the normal scissor this will be fine then keep on one side and other one you just take it and again you fold okay don't don't press it just 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 fold and see the center point this is going to be the center point for this you have to take a a bead okay so we will take a this is a kind of golden uh, golden bead okay uh, you can take white or any other color whichever you want so this is going to be your center point now here can you see i'm just pulling okay here you just hold the bead like this and from your these two fingers just press it a bit and hold it tightly okay now this is the wire okay this is the wire so in between just put your finger like this and hold the wire tightly and from here pressing on both the sides if you don't press on the both sides it will shift the the pearl will shift and you won't get the center point so that is very important for you to uh, hold it from the center and just twist so twist and as you keep twisting you push your these fingers towards the lower part of the wire okay while you are doing this you will find that from here also it has got entangled so you just remove the tied up wires and again you twist 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 and finally you have reached to the end so this is what you are going to get okay fine just wire and the bead okay now here you will be needing the cap the one which i said you you can get it from the jewelry shop this put here there is a hole from there you can put the and one end of wire and just pull it up like this okay you pull it up here we are going to stick it with the glue gun okay just put a drop and stick it so after sticking it is going to look like this fine i have <coughs> stuck this with glue gun and then finally it looks like this okay now keep this aside i have made few you can just have a look with that see i have made so many 
first you have to finish one job so you just finish off or making all of these sticking and keeping it ready for your flowers okay <coughs> after you finish this just keep it one side keep it at one side and now we are going to start with the flowers okay so what you do you take the organza ribbon uh, length you can take whatever you want your flower to be if it is if you have taken a shorter length like the measurement is small doesn't matter you will get a small flower so there is no hard and fast rule for taking a, a one meter ribbon and then just doing it with the ribbon it's not like that whatever size you take you will get the flower of the same size okay so now what what you have to do is with the matching thread and the needle needle is not matching of course what i mean is with the matching thread you just have to <coughs> take a single thread and from one corner you have to start sewing okay wait one second i'll just show you <coughs> can you see the ribbon the thread is coming out so you have to lock this first for locking you need a candle and matchbox from both the sides just cut the extra thread and put just swipe on the candle don't burn it okay okay that's enough if it's not coming out that's enough okay so you can just blow this off and here is your ribbon so let's start with the needle just simple stitching you have to do first you just lock your ribbon here okay now just give a long stitch okay like this just give a long stitch like this I hope you can see this is the long stitch one second let me keep a dark surface so that you can see it properly this is a long stitch okay like this you have to stitch the whole ribbon you have to give a long stitch to the from one end to another okay just keep going taking care of not spoiling the stitch and not getting entangled in between just don't bother about the perfection of having equal distance of from one one stitch to the other it's okay just continue because otherwise you're going to shrink that fine so this is the long stitch you have done okay now what you have to do just pull from one end pull keep pulling okay okay like this yes so you pull and till the time you get uh, something like this okay <clears throat> i've already done i finished it in the end you have to just give a knot so that the thread doesn't open so this is what has happened fine what you do 
just take this this is the the lengthier one i've taken you can take a shorter one also okay so just <coughs> keep overlapping it one on top of other here i hope you can see i'm just overlapping it if your ribbon is small you don't have to overlap simply join it okay like this okay and then again you take the needle and sew it it should be like this the center part should be here like this okay can you see after stitching it will look like this yes now the open end is here so just leave it like this and put it down below so this will be your upper portion of the flower fine now you take the one stem which you had already prepared put it from the center taking care of the okay yeah just to check whether it is going to come in the center or not fine now what you have to do first you have to make a base over here uh, before we start the adding the green ribbon i would like to show you that uh, how i have made this ribbon though i don't have these ribbons available with me so i will just show you where the the green ribbon uh, as these ribbons are little these ribbons are little broader so what you have to do you have to fold that ribbon into half like this no cutting just fold it and from here you start with your needle work and then you have to sew in the same way as you did for your organza like this simply just like this you have to sew after you finish that then again you have to pull it and the <clears throat> from one end to other and then it is going to look like this can you see this is a double ribbon see can you see this is a double ribbon so it is going to look like this like this i have made few of the base of the flowers and then i have added for white i have done one thing i have for white i had uh, red beads available with me so so i have added these to the white flowers and uh, this is how it, it it looks after adding then these are the pollens which i'm going to add to these flowers i have not added pollens to these organs of flowers because because it's already so beautiful and and i have added the the net here so it is not required only for these you need to add the pollens so what you will do just <coughs> take the pollens like this okay and take the stem whichever you want and the flower just put it inside take the pollens i'm showing you red so that you're able to see exactly what is happening okay let's take the <coughs> let's take the white flower so that it's clear okay this let's take this stem put it inside see the pollens it comes like this just fold it and put it inside from the center see from the back can you see the pollen here don't worry about this because this you are going to hide it when when you stick the uh, green tape so it is going to look like this and just pull it take the glue gun add the glue here and leave it within a second it will stick after sticking it will look like this okay so this is done see can you see the glue yeah now we will add the green tape start from the top okay 
we are going to start from here just hold it tight initially you have to take little care after that it's not a problem okay stop now pull and roll with one finger you have to roll and the other finger you take care of keeping it in the same in the right place like this like this can you see slowly i'm coming down reach the end now take this ribbon little bit you just leave it and then you roll taking care of covering the whole stem and just make it a little tight suppose if it comes out just stick it with glue gun if you can see this extra part you can just cut it off don't leave it okay so here it is this is done like this i have made few flowers you can just have a look and the best part for these flowers are that you can always turn their directions like this see whichever way you want you just turn their directions because it's made with wire so you can just do it whichever way or you can just put one small one big one bigger like this like this and the blue in the center like this so this way you make a bouquet okay so same thing you do it with the organza flowers also and your bouquet is ready so now we are going to learn another type of flower that is going to be this the rose okay this is a bit tricky so you have to be little uh, be careful about it uh, but don't worry if it if you by mistake if you spoil it just do one thing that you pull out the thread and go back again okay so we will start Okay. Now look carefully. This is the ribbon which we are going to start with. So, what you have to do is just fold this like this. Okay. And from the corner, just sew it. Stitching, stitching, stitching. Just make a knot here first. and then running stitch you have to do nothing else you can do this while uh, watching your tv also not a big deal only thing is that you should know where you have to put the stitch okay this is the running stitch i have done and it's over can you see the running stitch okay now from here just take uh, your one finger and fold this up to the end like this yeah then what you have to do is come back again like this can you see one fold and then reverse now you will find this flap here this flap again you put it in a triangle shape bring it down here can you see this is a double one then just hold it and go down and stitch same running stitch only in the running stitch only you have to do everything again when you reach the end then you stop okay now can you see this this is double this is single because here we started again you take your finger measurement and fold okay if you take bigger also there is no problem with that then again you come back like this can you see 
overlapping and reversing this much you have seen going and then coming back then this flap is there again you take this flap and touch this corner to make a triangle like this you go with my video nothing will happen just pause and then see again and then you continue just once you need to see then it will be uh, while seeing now you will feel oh wow it's so easy but when you do it yourself no you will find it a little difficult because you will forget just go again running stitch like this yeah See? reach to end and then you stop not before that otherwise the flap will change its shape <coughs> yes now can you see two flaps here pockets one two like that you have to keep going till you reach the end okay so then you will find in the end you have to lock it and you will get a design like this okay you have the pocket same how we started now you have to turn it like this those pockets area put it behind and from here you have to start you have to stick with glue stick keep rolling keep rolling keep rolling keep rolling like this like this okay so i'll just get my glue gun I'll just switch it on and then we'll be back. These are the flowers we finished making today. Okay. In case any of the crafting you want me to do for you or any any queries i would love to answer please uh, add your comments on the comment box and any craft which you want me to make for you and you are interested in please do let me know subscribe for my channel and stay tuned for these type of leaves and some more flowers with ribbons and cloth i'll be doing very soon in my next video stay tuned and subscribe for the channel please don't forget to send send your suggestions and any ideas you want me to show you as a tutorial i would love to do that thank you so much bye bye take care